close your eyes and watch your breath. Give the mind a place to settle down as you breathe in, breathe out. And stay with the breath all the way through the in-breath, all the way through the out. It's a way of training the mind. Otherwise, the mind's running around all the time. It's like having a, a pet in your house that you haven't trained. It goes running into things and tearing things up and making messes here and there, jumping all over you. If you want to live in peace in the house, you've got to train the pet. Well, it's the same with the mind. The mind can cause all kinds of trouble. You're sitting here and the mind can run around the world a couple of times. And who knows what it's going to pick up? That doesn't mean that thinking is bad, but for the time being you have to learn how to give it a place to stay and make it do what you want it to do. This is why we focus on the breath. And to do that, you have to be mindful. In other words, you have to keep reminding yourself again and again to stay with the breath. And you want to be alert to see if your mind is slipping off. If it is slipping off, then you bring it right back. And use some discernment in how to stay here. If you press down too hard on the breath, it's going to make the body uncomfortable. That's not going to work. But if there's no pressure at all, then the mind's just going to drift away. And if the breath is uncomfortable, you're not going to want to stay here. So try to breathe in a way that feels good. You can explore how the breathing feels right now. That'll help get you into the present moment give you something to get interested in. But this is an important principle. The mind needs to be trained, because without it, even though things outside may be going very well, you're not going to be happy. But if the mind is well trained, okay, things outside can be pretty miserable, but the mind is perfectly content in a sense of well-being. It knows how to look after itself. It knows how not to keep stabbing itself with its thoughts and making messes all over the mind. So it's time to train the mind. Get it under your control. When it's under your control, then it's like it's like living in a house with an animal that you've trained. When it's time for the animal to go to bed, you tell it to go to bed and goes to bed. When it's time to eat, you get it to eat. It's even better than that. In the old days, they would train animals to work for you, too. And so the mind can do your work as you need it, and then you give it a chance to rest. The mind will be happy and content. and it will be making a mess of your life. So try to get the mind to stay here with the breath as a way of training it in mindfulness and alertness and a quality called ardency. In other words, trying to do something skillfully, keeping at it, keeping at it. As the Buddha said, when the mind is well trained, it brings happiness. This is the source of real happiness. It's not stuff outside. I mean, things outside can be pleasant. But the inner well-being of the mind, that depends on the mind's being well-trained. So take this time to train your mind. Nobody else can train it for you. I can give you advice, but I can't do the work for you. Each of us has to see the importance of training the mind and then just sticking with it. That way the mind becomes an adult mind, the mind that's your true friend. <coughs> 